Hey folks, welcome back. I recorded Lady Antebellum's Bartender and I neglected to show the guitar in the video and I'm sorry for that. Uh, the premise of my channel is to is to uh, show you how to play these songs using the nice easy open cowboy chords as they're called so you don't have to do anything really fancy and I uh, blew it with this one. I didn't show the guitar so I apologize. Here's a tutorial for it. Hopefully it'll be clear enough to uh, help you pull this off. The song is uh, written in the key of G. Actually, it's not written in the key of G. I, I use that G formation. Um, if you're going to play it, you're a female, you're going to be capable way up here in the 5th or 6th fret. And if you use the fingering position, I'm going to show you it's going to work. The capo just raises the, the vocal range for you, depending on what your vocal range is. I'm kind of low. I think I recorded a capo 1, but I'm going to show you, just for demonstration purposes, not using a capo. Uh, if you have to raise the key, so to speak, just move that capo. Like I'm going to be in the key of G. Here it's going to be A flat, A, B flat, B, C, that kind of thing. Um, so just raise, move it up the neck to uh, to raise the, the pitch of the song. Uh, fingering is going to be the same. You're just going to use the capo. It's going to replace the nut on the guitar. So that's how that works. Okay, it's, it's in the key of G. I'm going to demonstrate it in the key of G. And the first chord uh, is E minor, which is a relative minor of the G chord. So the chords you're going to need to know are E minor. Uh, these chords are pretty easy on the internet to look up. I don't want to spend too much time going over the fingering unless it's a real abstract chord. Uh, C major 7th, which is just a C without the index finger. Uh, D. You'll see I play that without my middle finger in this song, though, and I finger it like this. That's really just a D without my index finger. That's how I play it. And a B seventh, not using that E, e uh, string on the bottom. I just the top four strings just to give the song some body. Uh, the intro of the song is E minor twice, hammer on. A string 2nd fret, open D string, back to the E minor, that's three times, and I just hit that D string to, to fill it in, you can hit that D chord, but I just hit the D string so it sounds like this. how that intro is going to sound and the chords are as follows you'll see I use the C major 7th and that D without my index finger because uh, that adds a whole different character to the song that it kind of catches my ear and, and uh, that's why I do it my, my style of play is such that I like to be a little different and uh, those chords add the difference you need I think to to make people turn their heads so here you go I'm gonna sing you a verse and uh, show you where these chords go and I'm going to send you on your way. E minor again, hammer on, D string, E minor, hammer on, D string. Eight o'clock on Friday night, I'm still at home, open D string, E minor. All my boys just keep on blowing up my phone, saying, now you're going to play the C major seventh. Come on, she ain't worth the pain. That variation of the D. Do what you gotta do to forget her name. Back to the E minor. And you do the same thing again. Now there's only one thing left for me to do. Put on my favorite jeans and shine my cowboy boots. Check the, I'm uh, sorry, uh, C major 7th. Check the mirror one last time, B 7th. Leave the past behind. Now back to the C major 7th. What I'm really is a double shot of crap. Chase that disco ball around E minor till I D don't remember. Back to the C major seventh. Go until they cut me off. G wanna get a little lost. D in the noise. B seventh and the lights. Hey bartender. C major seventh. Board hot tonight. E minor till the party and the music and the truth collide to the D. Bring it till her memory fades to B seventh. 
away, hey bartender. Okay, that's the song. So I'm gonna play a verse in a court in a chorus for you at speed and send you on your way. Here we go. Eight o'clock on Friday night, I'm still at home. All my boys just keep on blowing up my phone, saying, Come on, she ain't worth the pain. Do what you gotta do to forget her name. Now there's only one thing left for me to do. Put on my favorite jeans and shine my cowboy boots. Check the mirror one last time. Leave the past behind. chords I am muting as I'm playing here and, and that adds that adds the beat to the song I'm a firm believer that the right hand is gonna make or break anything you do on an acoustic guitar so here's what I'm doing with that I'm killing this my fingers are laying right across these strings I'm just picking it up a little bit so you can hear the chord but I'm not I'm not letting that ring, I'm muting that. That's what I want you to do, that's gonna add a beat to the song. That's what I want you to do with your hand. I want I want a lot of chopping, a lot of muting, so that if I'm whistling that song, you can let it ring a little bit um, you're gonna lose the beat but you're gonna add some fill so uh, let it ring in the bridge uh, there's a chorus in there also it's all pretty much E minor so pull that thing up to the top I'm ready to rock hey bartender that's all E minor and then it goes to the C major 7 that's the whole song um, the cell here is going to be right here. That's going to be your cell, so practice that. See, everything is dead. When I hit the chord, I relax my hand a little bit and let the strings ring just for a second. Put it right back out there. That's a technique that will help you be a better guitar player if you learn how to do that. Okay. Um... Hopefully that's an adequate tutorial for you. I know it's fast. Uh, YouTube doesn't give you a lot of time. And there's, there's not a lot to that song. The, the chording is, is pretty basic and simple. Uh, it's just the, uh, the little added extras that you use, like the major sevenths and the sevenths and, and that, that metering, chopping beat uh, that's going to help you sell that tune. So good luck. If you post anything, don't be shy. Let me know. I'd love to see and hear your version of it. I'll talk to you later.